So Menno and I are playing Bach's Sonata for Violin and Obligato Harpsichord. Each of these, the six sonatas has a different key, of course, but E major always is very special. It's, it's, um, there's something very joyful about it. I also recall that E major, with, with its very bright sound, the four sharps in the, in the key signature, there's something very, what's the word, elevated. There's also something a bit bittersweet um, at times, you know, that, that it's uh, yeah, not just happy, happy, but it's um, yeah, a bit of, um, yeah, bittersweet. <clears throat> yeah, for okay. you at the end, the two strikes. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's do it again. again. Let's yeah. do it again. Yeah. <laughs> The first movement um, is very, there's something just so big and generous and broad about it. And, and it, it's, it has to do, of course, with a lot of things, how just the, as you have this very slow pulse in the left hand, this pedal notes that come every, every half bar. Um, it gives you so much space to, to fill in. Yeah, for the first moment, I always think of the Corelli Opus Five, Opus Five Sonatas, the slow movements. Um, now they're of course very they're, they're staple uh, pieces in the violin repertoire, of course, and and they too um, sort of like these sonatas. They were published, I don't know, something like thirty, forty times, um, reprinted. The parallel that I, in my own mind, draw very much is in the slow movements, there is an edition uh, from the 18th century that supposedly contains the ornaments by Carilli himself. So basically the original version, the very first edition, you have very simple plain notes, the melody is just with quarter notes, eighth notes, nothing, usually nothing faster than that. But then in this particular edition, the supposed Corelli, uh, orna Corelli ornamented virgin versions, um, you have these very curvy lines. Um, and that's to say, let me, if I can play it um, right away, um, for example, from the first um, D major is not all. That's the original Corelli's, Corelli line. And then Corelli's ornamentation. these very yeah, rapid notes, but also within this very slow, elegant movement. And, and if you look at it, if you just take, the, even, even if you don't have, um, don't know re how to read music necessarily, if you look at it, they're, they're, they look very similar. by um, Johann Sebastian's son, um, Carl Philipp Emanuel. And this is a text that's written in seven, uh, 1774, so um, a full 50 years, at least, um, since the composition of, of, um, of these sonatas. And, and so, um, to, to quote here, so, the six uh, clavier trios, meaning these sonatas, are among the best works of my dear departed, departed father. Uh, they still sound excellent and give me much joy, although they date back more than 50 years. They contain some adagios that could not be written in a more uh, singable manner today. Interesting that he chooses singable. Um, but uh, yeah, so 50 years, um, so you can consider that it's um, so between 1725 and 1774. How many styles have come and gone and come and gone during that? during those 50 years, and still, um, yeah, they, had, they weren't outdated, as a lot of, incidentally, a lot of uh, Johann Sebastian Bach's works were considered as, they were considered as, yeah, too old in style. Um, and furthermore, not just this Carl Philipp um, 
record, but there are many copies, so um, handwritten copies uh, of these sonatas by various people, um, by various hands. And that's also an indicator of, again, the enduring popularity of these sonatas. You know, it, if it weren't of values, nobody would bother to sit down and copy it out, of course. And, and also significantly is that um, among the, the, the manuscript copies that we have, um, um, at least two, who knows there might be more, but uh, two of them are by his students. So that also goes to show um, that Johann Sebastian himself um, valued these works very much. What's the length of our final chord? Hmm. Bach didn't hmm. write that actually, because it's a uh, Yeah, long yeah. 